Hi guys, in today's video we are going to paint this beautiful waterfall painting in simple four step. Now let's get started. Now let's see the requirements of this painting. I have given all the art material link in the description. Now in the first step we are going to paint the sky. So we need the color light blue. So here I mix the color blue and white to get the light shade of blue. In this painting we don't need to paint the entire sky we just need a less part of the sky Once we finish this in the second step we are going to paint the mountains and the water around the mountain To paint the mountain we need the color black and I'm going to block the entire area for this mountain While painting if you need to cover a large area I suggest you to use always your large flat brush so in this way you will have a good coverage and you can also save your paint from dry so fast Now let's paint the water around the mountain here I use the color cerulean blue and I'm going to use another color that is viridian blue so here I'm going to mix the color viridian blue to little white and I'm going to blend these two colors Now let's add some texture on this mountain. Here I'm using my fan brush to create the texture and now let's paint the waterfall. To paint the waterfall, I just use my fan brush and it is really interesting and useful to paint waterfall. If you're following me for a long time, you might know I paint from the suggestion of my followers. So in this painting is also suggested by one of my followers from Instagram. They asked me to paint a waterfall scenery, so I made this painting especially for beginners in a simple and easy way. In this place, I am adding some extra detail on this waterfall. So here, I take my detailing brush and take some white color, and I am just dragging some lines here. So in this way, we have the effect like a waterfall. So I am using this technique to paint waterfall. Now on the top of the each segment we are going to add more thick layer of white paint so in this way it will look more realistic like a waterfall so now you can see i just take some white paint on my detailing brush and i just rotate my brush on this surface so it is really easy and interesting to create waterfall in our painting Here you can see I am using the same detailing brush and I am using the brush in the circular motion to create a effort like foam. Now in the fourth step we are painting the trees around this waterfall so i just take my fan brush here and i'm going to tap the paint on the surface here i use the color phalo green and phalo green is my favorite color whenever i paint some trees and this color gives a beautiful shade so here i use the color phalo green and i'm going to add more details in this area so first we need to apply some layers for it's like for a shadow so just i use the color here and if you don't have the fan brush you can use your flat brush and now let's paint some trunk of the trees here so here you can see i use my detailing brush it and it always really useful Here I'm applying some darkest shade of green mixing the color phalo green with black in this way we have some depth in our painting so that I use the color dark green here Now you can see I am adding the color light green here Now let's paint some trees and textures on this rock. So here I'm using the same method using my fan brush here and it is really easy to create a texture like trees and leaves using this fan brush and you can also use your regular flat brush. Here I'm adding lighter value of the color. So 
i always go from the shadow part and then light value and then i am adding highlight in the later so in this way it always gives a realistic look for my painting and i suggest you to follow this method now let's paint a tree on the top of this mountain so i decided to paint the trunk of the tree in a light brownish orange shade so here i mix the color black and orange and little white and now i'm going to paint the leaf so here i use a round brush to paint the leaves so this tree will be like a autumn tree which is very beautiful and also vibrant color so i'm going to paint the tree here We can add some rocks in this place. So adding this rocks make our painting feel complete. So I am going to add more details in this rocks. If you are new to my channel, I am Rekshana and I love to paint acrylics. Here I am sharing my painting knowledge with beginners. If you find my tutorial is really easy and helpful, then please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can follow me in my Instagram to know all the regular updates about my painting. Using my detail brush, I am here painting some moss on this rock. So adding this make this really beautiful and you have to be patient while doing this. In the huge rocks, I am using my fan brush to create the moss and now I am going to add lighter values. So here I use the color medium green using the regular flat brush I am mixing the color here and once this color is ready I am going to apply more highlight color on this. Now let's add the more light green on the top of the rocks so we are going to add this only on the few parts. Now let's add more flowers on this tree so this will be the final part of this painting. And this is the final look of our painting. Let me know in the comment section how much you like this painting. I really love this painting. I will meet you guys with another beautiful painting with a step by step tutorial. Until then have fun with colors.